Okay, I'm going to call the meeting to order. It is 431. And to do a roll call right now, I'm going to look at all the pictures, if you don't mind. And uh, we have Dale, Chris, Bryden, Thomas, Eve, Rhea, Councilwoman Susie hidalgo Faring, and Sheila, our friend slash guest, and then uh, the staff. So um, the first thing to do is um, to introduce Sheila Conroy. She is a member of the public who's joining us tonight. If you'd like to comment or make any um, introduction of yourself, Sheila, you can do so now if you'd like. Just need to unmute. Can you unmute? You take your cursor and hug. Uh, yeah, I, I got it now. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, I'm on the Senior Citizens Advisory Board and I'm also slightly involved with Longmont Public Media. And when um, the Museum Board, the AIPP, and the Senior Citizens Board go back to in person meetings, I will be um, not recording them, but um, what do we do? Broadcasting. I will be broadcasting um, those advisory board meetings. So I thought I was kindly invited here by Joanne just to see who everybody is and um, looking forward to listening to your meeting, or truncated meeting, I think. Great, thank you. Okay, first things first, um, let's look at the minutes from the May 19th, 2021 meeting. Um, does anyone have any corrections or um, additions to those? If not, um, is there a motion to approve those minutes? I still move. Thank you, Dale. Is there a second? I'll second. Thanks, Rhea. All in favor of approving the minutes, please raise your hands. Look how good we're getting at this. Chris, are you in favor? And opposed? I actually, I actually need to abstain because I wasn't there, so I can't. Okay, I can't that's great. Yes no. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> sorry, I forgot about that. All opposed. Okay, so the approval of the minutes is unanimous with one abstention by Chris. Moving on, um, Eric is going to tell us about the um, accessions that he has ready for June. I think, there he is, I lost you. Okay, so the June accessions uh, mostly relate to collecting for Longmont 150. Um, but we do have one other uh, donation of two postcards, uh, one from the in front of the Longmont call office, which was a precursor to the Times call, um, and the other one of the Longmont juvenile band. Um, the nice thing about these is they actually have messages on the back, so that helps to uh, kind of place them in time and, and adds a little bit more context to them. All the rest of our donations relate to our project to collect uh, glasses from every uh, brewery, distillery, and cidery in Longmont. So we have Collision Brewing, Bootstrap Brewing, Oscar Blues, 300 Sons, Wibby, Copper Sky Distillery, and Left Hand Brewing. Um, we have another six uh, breweries, distilleries, and cideries still to go. So hopefully you'll see all those at next month's uh, board meeting and then uh, see them all on exhibit at Longmont 150. 
Any questions on uh, any of those donations? No, pretty short list. <laughs> yep. I move to accept the accessions. Thank you, Chris. Is there a second? I'll second. Thanks, Dale. All in favor of accepting these uh, proposed accessions, please wave your hand. Very good. All opposed? So that's a unanimous approval of the proposed accessions for June. All right, moving on. This may be the shortest meeting ever. Um, so Kim is out today, so she is um, not going to be able to do the museum director's reports, but Eric has stepped in and will do that for us today. So, and I will just hit a few highlights. Um, um, under administration, uh, the master development plan is our the big project right now. In fact, that's that's where Kim is. She is uh, in a meeting about about that. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the plans through Engage Longmont, the deadline is uh, June 18th, so coming right up. And I would encourage you to do that because they're they are exciting what we're planning. Um, in marketing, uh, had a great review in the Denver Post by art critic Ray Rinaldi. Um, has led to a real jump in ex exhibition attendance for our Enduring Impressions exhibit. So um, that exhibit is on for just almost exactly one more month. And uh, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, membership and development, uh, Megan, who you met last month, is deeply involved in getting the uh, tier two SCFD application uh, out the door, uh, the report. Um, uh, that is a huge project, tons and tons of information gathered for that, which then we use for the rest of the year. Um, for education, it's been really neat uh, the last couple weeks with summer camps in person at the museum. It just feels like the level of energy has gone up tremendously. Um, all the kids coming in and uh, they're excited to be back out and, and doing things. And uh, I think the parents are excited to have the kids out of their hair for a while. Um, and uh, it's just been been really fun to see summer camps going and they are in person, real kids. So that is an exciting thing to have at the museum right now. And we were able to give all of our summer camp scholarships away, 74 scholarships. So that is really uh, wonderful to be able to have so many people uh, in camps that could not have afforded them otherwise. Uh, Eric, Eric yeah. can I interrupt you for just one second? Um, sure. that, that is a, a huge number of scholarships. Um, I'm wondering, um, is there a grant that funds that or is it, how are you guys funding those scholarships? Yes, yes, we have a great partnership with the Dodge Family Foundation and they fund scholarships for summer camps as well as a lot of our other education programs. So, um, and some of that may have carried over because last year um, they had given money for scholarships and then you know, weren't able to have um, the level of camps we had hoped to. Um, so some of that may have carried over because I think they said, just roll it over into the, the following year. But the Dodge family has, has been tremendously uh, generous in, in supporting our summer camps. So. Great, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, in collections, uh, we've been really focused on the Longmont 150 exhibit. Uh, opening night of that exhibit is August 6th. Uh, so we've been continuing to collect things like the beer glasses, planning for moving, writing the labels, um, and working a lot with uh, our exhibits folks. Um, also not in the official report, but uh, our registrar, Eileen, uh, who uh, often attends these meetings, uh, had a baby uh, about two weeks ago. So she is out on maternity leave for a while. Um, everyone is doing well. Our new baby's name is Maxwell. Um, and uh, so she'll be back in September. Um, 
in exhibits, obviously also focusing very much on Longmont 150. Um, they are also um, planning for the future. We've got uh, 14 exhibitions that are attached to this report um, that we will be going out into the community, farmers markets, at the museum, summer concerts and so forth, and uh, doing some evaluation where we ask people, uh, we'll have a stack of cards where people can sort in order of which one they think is the most likely that they would visit. So it's a way for us to uh, get a sense from our community what exhibits they are most excited about. And then uh, based on that, as well as you know our own uh, judgment as to what uh, what makes sense. Uh, we'll be choosing exhibits for the future. Will you also be gathering information on online platforms and places that you guys have gathered more of a virtual audience on those exhibits, or is it more of an in-person polling? This one is is more in person. Just sort of the logistics of doing the card sorts um, uh, lend themselves to a more in person. Uh, polling method, but okay. um, uh, we may we may do some of that uh, in the future. Okay, thank you. Right. Um, under auditorium, uh, really starting to see uh, programs coming back to the museum, both uh, rental events uh, starting to happen, as well as our uh, summer camps. I mean, summer concerts. Summer concerts will start uh, tomorrow night. That concert actually has sold out. It is a free concert, but we did ask people to RSVP. Um, we had a cap of 350. We have met that cap. Now, if, if you didn't RSVP and you really want to come, our guess is that not everyone will come because it is a free concert. So uh, certainly uh, come in. We will uh, uh, hold folks back until the reservation uh, period is passed, I believe, at 6.30 and then let in additional folks. So, um, uh, but uh, shows there's a lot of interest in summer concerts out there. And that's very exciting. I don't think we've ever had um, that much interest in advance uh, for our summer concerts. Uh, we have uh, seven concerts, so uh, it'll be great to see people coming in throughout the summer. I have, a, I have a quick question, Eric. Uh -huh. So, and I think maybe this has been discussed before, but you know, Thursday nights is the Rock and Rails in Niwot. So we're in direct competition with them. Um, but I know Thursday is our night for, you know, different kinds of stuff. Has, has that been a, an issue in the past? Um, it it hasn't been really. Our, our Thursday night is kind of what we've settled on as the, uh, the museum's programming night. And uh, so at times we're gonna compete with other events, but um, uh, at least so far it has not uh, not hurt us. And it looks like um, this year we'll, uh, you know, we'll continue to see good attendance at our summer concerts. Um, then uh, visitor services, uh, we resume normal business hours June 1st. Uh, so we're back to our Monday to Saturday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're open until 9 on Thursday nights and then Sundays 1 to 5 p.m. So um, that is, is also really nice to feel like we're back back in our normal uh, um, practice. And um, that's that's been great. We've been able to increase our attendance uh, because we're still doing the time ticketing, but, but with longer hours, we're able to, uh, to have more folks come into the museum. Um, and then uh, art in public places um, on June 26th, there is an art in public places retreat as part of their new strategic planning process uh, that will happen in the morning. And uh, Angela is going to have a, a invitation to send out to all of you if you're interested in participating in that retreat. It is open to the public and an opportunity to shape uh, the future direction of art in public places, which like so many other things has been uh, affected by the pandemic and how people engage with public art. Uh, so it's an opportunity to uh, talk about that uh, as uh, they look ahead. So, um, that concludes the director's report, uh, but if there are any uh, 
questions about anything I didn't cover or, or anything that I mentioned, uh, feel free to. I, I just have a comment. If if you had didn't see the article in the Denver paper, <clears throat> be sure to um, click on the link that's in Kim's report because it's an it's a really amazing article. Um, I don't know. I mean, at first I was a little um, I don't know um, miffed that kept referring to Longmont. I mean, I it seemed that he was quite in awe of the fact that Longmont had some masterpieces here, you know, but it was a really exciting article. Yes, sometimes the Denver media has a hard time thinking of culture. Well, they culture. kept calling us the suburbs, you know. <laughs> the Longmont Museum brings rare works of masterpieces to the suburbs, like, we wouldn't know who Bizarro or some of these people were. Suburbs, that's fighting words. <laughs> Great, thanks, Dale. Right, anybody else? Questions for Eric on that? Okay, thanks, Eric. You can, are you guys gonna walk in this heat? Uh, we are, yes. We walked yesterday, um, and it was toasty, but everybody made it. <laughs> yeah, well, it said 101 on the weather from the airport, the Longmont Airport, so wear your yeah. your pith helmet with the, uh, the fan in it or something. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, thanks All right. very much. Sure thing. Okay, I do not have a report. Um, I, I would just like to say this is my last meeting. So it's been a pleasure um, serving with all of you. And I'm sorry that this meeting isn't in person. Um, but uh, that being as, as it is, I'm going to miss you. So anyway, that's it. I don't think we have any old business. Anybody have old may, business? May I interject? Sure. I just wanted to thank um, our two um, board members that are going off the board. I want to thank Chris Bernard Carlson. Um, you've been great. Thank you for all of your support. Chris has been great for her perspective, her perspective from the education point of view. And Chris served for so many years on the Art and Public Places Commission. So she just, I think that you just brought a lot of great background and conversation through that. So thank you very much, Chris. And then I also wanted to thank Eve, our chair, and um, I, you know, uh, Eve volunteers many areas in the museum, and um, Eve is the kind of Jill of all trades that, of, of, a, of a volunteer that you want to cross path with. So Eve's been with the museum, what, for about seven years, and she volunteers um, inventory artifact collection. She does exhibit installs and deinstalls. And she's also um, is basically running our membership program. So when Eve will go off the board, but we're still going to see her volunteer all the time at the museum. Um, she's going to continue to work with Eric in the artifact collections, um, documenting those. But I just kind of wanted to give Eve a lot of credit that if you have ever received a membership renewal form in the mail, and of course you renewed your membership. And then if you received your acknowledgement and thank you letter in your membership card, um, you have Eve to thank for that. Um, so I just wanted to thank Eve a lot. Um, we depend on her background as a uh, business analyst. And I think that her expertise is gonna come in handy too as we explore new databases for our artifact collection and our membership. Uh, database. So just from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Eve. Um, you have been fantastic. And I just also wanted to thank, recognize Dale Bernard, whose term was also up and has reapplied. And we're delighted, Dale, that you are continuing. So thank you for that. Well, I, I haven't been reappointed yet. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm just guessing. You're <laughs> <laughs> we had our interviews. Uh, last night, yesterday, so. Great, she's projecting out that you're, of course you're gonna be there, 
So I just want to say thank you as well. I wish we could have been in person. It's been, um, I've enjoyed being on the advisory board, but we were talking before the meeting and I actually retired two years ago and um, I still do consulting in higher education, but I've been traveling a lot more, um, even with the pandemic and planning lots more travel and, and my ability to be able to participate in person as you move in person is going, well, I, it won't be there. So um, I didn't feel it was a, a good uh, match for me to continue if I'm not able to fully participate, but I've really enjoyed being reconnected to the museum and I will always stay involved in some way. So thanks. Thank you all. I, Su oh. Susie's got her hand up there. So thank you. I just, um, so I had to confirm that I could say something. So we had two applicants, but I believe we had three openings, plus four openings. Okay. So um, yes, Dale is returning. So oh, good. Thank I'm you. really, so thank you very much. You're <laughs> those, I hated those three minutes because I feel like as far as I only had time to say the questions and I didn't really, we wasn't really giving people the, the chance to to really express who they are. Um, but no, so I'm very happy and honored to say that Dale is coming back. And we also have a new, another person who will be coming in and she has experience. She works at the, um, she's, I think she's the, the director over at the WOW. I know it's the WOW Museum, the Children's Museum. So she does come in with experience. So that too is very exciting. Um, and I wanted to put in one other update that um, I did present and the council approved to have the museum present on um, on the uh, land acknowledgement. And so, you know, what I would like to see, and this is something that I really, that I had pointed out at the meeting, was I would really like to see all departments in our institution um, create these, you know, to do the land acknowledgement. Um, in addition to something really simple, and I'm, I've started to add it into my emails, through school and um, through the city is a, a little saying on the bottom of my email where my signature is, just a, a quick land acknowledgement of, um, you know, of the tribes that had uh, existed prior to our, um, our residency here. So that's, that's another way that we can incorporate this into our daily, daily lives. So thanks, that's all I have. <laughs> That's, that's wonderful. Um, Council Member Hidalgo Faring, is there a date set for when the museum will present? Um, no, I'm going to ask Harold. They didn't, we put it on a future agenda. So typically I don't see where it's coming in until it's in our packet. But, um, but I can definitely ask Harold uh, ahead of time or Sandy to find out when, when we expect that. Okay, I'm sure they'll give us. Yeah, more and they'll let Kim know and, and you all know before beforehand as well. So, and I apologize, I'm in the dark. I don't have AC in this house. So I had to find the coolest room in the house. <laughs> so I wasn't sweating profusely. So, so I, I feel like a little mole in here. So sorry. Thank you. I hope you can get cool later. You need a fan and a pan of water with the fan blown up. <laughs> <Some> ice too. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Okay, so if there isn't any other old business, I, it has been a pleasure. I'm, I've enjoyed being on this board very much and, and meeting all of you. And like I said, it was too bad we couldn't be in person. Um, but uh, I know you will continue on and I'll hear rumors of what's happened in the meeting when I come in to do memberships. So um, I don't know if there's any new business. Joanne, did you have anything else or, or are you done? I have nothing else. Okay, anybody else have new business they'd like to bring up? Okay, um, any comments? Concerns, any? Just a big thank you from me to you, Eve, and to you, Chris, for being on the board and um, Eve for all of your leadership. You have been the chair since I came on the board. So it's gonna be a, a different, different look next month. So yeah. um, we'll miss you and thank you. Good. Well, you know, change is always good. So, but thank you very much for your kind words. Appreciate well, it. you can always come back as part of the public. That's true. I can us. come and bother you. 
<laughs> or just come to visit. So um, if there isn't any anything else anybody wants to bring up, um, is there a motion to adjourn? I will motion to adjourn. Great, thanks, Bryden. Second? I'll second. Thanks, I'll take Tom. All in favor of adjourning, please raise your hand. Opposed? No. So there is a unanimous vote to adjourn the meeting. So at 4.56, I think this is a record. Wow, good job. <laughs> now we can all try to get cooler. That's right. So thanks you all. Thank you Take all. Care. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.